Well, we knew it would be somewhat of a transition year for Cal Poly baseball after losing a significant part of its core group from last year. The Mustangs opening the year with a two and six record, completing their four game series this weekend with Oregon State, a team creeping up, by the way, in the rankings in college baseball. Let's start with game one of two Mustangs up four to two versus the heart of the order in the top of the ninth inning. One down for Kyle Scott on the hill. He walks Travis Bazana, but Scott then strikes out the three hole hitter Gavin and Turley. So it's two outs with a runner on the tying run at the plate and Scott strikes out Garrett Forrester looking and Cal Poly wins game one four to two looking to split the series now on to game two we go. Let's start in the top of the second inning scoreless game Tanner Smith lines at the third base but there is Tate Chameau. He leaps and he's able to grab it then makes the throw across the diamond. That'll get two right there. We are scoreless at the end of the top of the second. Bottom two, we go Jaron Hunter on the hill, and he strikes out Evan Cloyd and remains scoreless as we head to the top of the third. Ryan Baum on the hill strikes out Micah McDowell, but a little bit later on, Travis Bazana once again. He was Bazana at the plate, and he was drilling this to right center field, and that falls in for a base knock. It advances a runner as well. He takes second base in the process, so it is runners at second and third. Gavin Turley, he missed in the first game, not this time with runners on. Base hit up the middle two runs coming to score Oregon State up by two and so in game one the Mustangs would win it for two but in game two they fall three to one Cal Poly also falls in the series.